day because I'm getting vaccination, <laughs> vaccination, vaccination number two. Nervous, not as nervous as the first time, but my due date is in like a week, so I'm just gonna hope the baby doesn't come. Oh, oh I also can't see anything, it's so bright. Okay, let's go do it. He just kicked me. Woo -hoo -hoo. Well, good to know he's still kicking around in there. That was great. The shot itself hurt even less than last time, but now I'm like superstitious and I'm like, is my arm? Or not superstitious, but paying attention too much and I'm like, is my arm hurting already? I also wore this high neck long sleeve sweater. I was like, what was I thinking? But it was fine. I just rolled up my sleeve. So I'm fully vaccinated in two weeks, I guess. I had a labor and delivery nurse do mine, so that was really great because she gave me some tips and just like encouragement. And everyone was asking like, when are you due? So that was fun. Okay, let's get to the rest of our day and hope for no side effects. In other news, today I put on, I don't know why I put on blush to go wear a mask, but I did because it sounded like fun. <laughs> put on this blush that I haven't really worn very much and then I saw myself in the light can you see my cheek like how sparkly they are <laughs> it's cracking me up oh man maybe oh oh do you see it it's cracking me up because every time I look in the mirror I just have like glitter all over my face <laughs> like sparkles are not bad but um glitter is not that's that's not what we were going for on the eye yes on the cheek not so much. You can barely see it. It's way crazier in person. <laughs> All right, we are about three hours post-vaccine. I did some shopping. I found some really great deals. I'll show you when I get home. And now I got a ice cream cone to celebrate. 50% off, yay! Get the McDonald's app because if you like McDonald's, then you don't need to pay full price. Cheers! It is 4.45, which means we're almost seven hours post-vaccine. By the time I got home, I was like in a lot of pain, but it was mostly in my shoulder and in my back, which is where I've been having these pregnancy pains. So I was able to lie down, which helps it to go away. Spencer made me my pillow fort. Now that is feeling a little bit better. And the only side effect that I have so far, I think, is my shoulder is a little bit sore, but nowhere near as sore as it was for the first vaccine. So, fingers crossed, it doesn't get any worse. <laughs> I'll keep you guys updated if anything changes, but baby is being really good, and he's not coming out today. I asked him not to, just in case the side effects were bad, so. Good job, little baby. But I wanted to show you the deals I got from Walmart and Target today. There were some really good ones. So at Target, I had to stop in and pick up these items for this campaign that I'm doing for Influencer. It's a cash back campaign, which means you go and you buy these in the store and then they give you money back. Anyways, excited to try these. They're all free. And speaking of Influencer, they also just sent me another box of free stuff, a Vox box. So, I'm pretty excited about this one. Let me give you guys a sneak peek. It's all beauty stuff, which you know is my favorite. Ta-da! A little bit of everything. Maybe I'll test it out later this week. Influencer is just such a great company. I really love working with them and getting stuff from them. I mean, who doesn't love free stuff? If you guys want to know more about it or how you can get into it, it's not that hard. I'm happy to do a dedicated video. I just don't know if people are interested. So let me know in the comments if you are. Ooh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> And then when I was at Target, I found these for a really great deal. These Johnsonville Brats were $4.49 per package plus the $3 off, so they were $1.49. And these pork chops were exactly the same thing, so $1.49. And I actually got a bunch more different kinds of brats and sausage and stuff, but they're all out in the freezer. We're just going to eat these ones tonight. But if you're at Target... Go to the meat section and keep an eye out for these coupons because you can, if you get the right packages of stuff, you can end up getting a really good deal on meat. That's my target tip for today. 
Okay, let's do the fun stuff now. So I had to make a return at Walmart, so I stopped in, and while I was in, I stopped in the clearance aisle, which you can usually find. They have an aisle in like any Walmart that you go to, usually, where there's a ton of clearance. Sometimes at our Walmart close by, our clearance aisle has like nothing. So it's, it's not great everywhere, but it's just so happened that this store had a lot, so. This is what I got. Yes, I'm showing my bra on YouTube. But get this, this nursing bra in my size was a dollar. What? And it's pink, score. Then I found these, there we go, now you can see it better. These lounge shirts. Um, I don't know if Frye is really my thing, but it's so soft. And guess what? It was a dollar. And then, this lounge shirt was also a dollar and it's so soft. I don't know what this material is, but it is like the softest thing. It's probably from Christmas. Don't care. <laughs> and then my other fun find was these Rice Krispie treats. So they're Easter, so they were a dollar a piece. But then they had this coupon on them for buy two and get a free marshmallow. So. We're going to have some more Rice Krispie treats soon. <laughs> oh, Lord. And last but not least, these are my favorite finds. I found these two books. They were each just a dollar. They're in, like, perfect condition. This one's so cute. It has, like, a touch and feel thing. And it's super interactive for babies. It's like, don't touch the T-Rex unless you can touch your nose, you know. Super cute. And... I'm sure our baby will like princesses too, right? So, I also got this one. It's so nice, like brand new. It has really pretty pictures. And it was only a dollar. Woohoo! Anyways, you know me, you know I love a deal, so I was pretty hyped. And now my shoulder is hurting again from being upright, so it's back to the pillow fort. Uh. Hey guys, just wanted to give you an update after my night of torture last night. So as you saw, I went to my 39 week appointment this morning. It was honestly a little bit of a struggle to get to because I was still feeling somewhat sick this morning, but nowhere near as bad as last night. <laughs> so. Remember yesterday when I was like, well, my arm hurts, but like I'm doing pretty good, so fingers crossed. Um, yeah, that's when things went downhill. I think it was about seven hours in, I started getting chills, like I was freezing cold, and then I had a low grade fever, and I had to go to the bathroom like every 20 minutes, which that's when the torture comes in because I don't think it would be that bad if I weren't dealing with these pregnancy aches and pains and issues with my pelvis and back and stuff, but having to get up every 20 minutes when you already can't move, that was torture. So anyways, it was a long night for both Spencer and I, but I'm feeling better now. I think I got a little bit dehydrated overnight and then I was also nauseous because I didn't have dinner, so yeah, Spencer was up getting me crackers at like four in the morning. He's the best. This morning I was a little nervous because the baby wasn't moving that much and I don't know how he reacted to the fever, but when I went in for my doctor's appointment, they were like, everything is fine, his heartbeat is great, so we're good. Now we just gotta get this baby to come. So come on baby, it's time. So the rest of this week, we're just gonna do everything to try to get the baby to come because my doctor said, that if he's not here by my 40 week appointment next Friday, then they might want to induce, which I'm like, so it's operation induce at home. Also, I just wanted to mention that my insurance company sent this to me in the mail today. How helpful. <laughs> I think I think they're a little, little behind here, wouldn't you say? Come take my hand, I will walk with you I won't let go till you say so There isn't anything I wouldn't do Wanna make sure that you understand You're the one who gives my life color There is no one other With your hand in mine Let me go by your side 
let me go by your side I wanna stay in your sunlight I wanna wake up with you by my side Without you there is no tomorrow Hey guys! Oh my word, where has the day gone? It is now 2 o'clock, but I had the most productive morning I am feeling like one million and a half times better today. It was, oh, it was so great waking up this morning because I just felt so good compared to the last couple days. So I woke up, I did the dishes, I got the dishwasher emptied, I did my workout, which was so great because I haven't actually been working out a lot these past couple weeks just because the only time when I really feel okay to be sitting up is the morning and if I have to do any grocery shopping then because of COVID I also have to do that in the morning or I just want to get it done because I'm not feeling good the rest of the day. So not a lot of workouts but I did get to move this morning which felt so good. I read my book, I did a face mask, I made a smoothie which um, was partially because my grandma's freezer broke and so I was like, can we clear anything out of here so that we could help her with some freezer space? It was ridiculous how little freezer space we have. <laughs> Anyways, all that is figured out, so all is well. This was the end of the berries for the berry smoothie, which we're sad about because they were so delicious, but it's probably best that I didn't buy more or else we would have even less freezer space. I am officially 39 weeks today and yesterday I was feeling like nothing was happening right baby wise and I was like oh no he's not gonna come out but today I don't know I feel like something's happening. <laughs> I like it how I just keep thinking that if I just bounce then he'll come out. <laughs> oh lord. I've been having some cramps this morning and a little bit just now, so maybe something's happening. Maybe he's gonna come out. Come on, baby, you can do it. I don't really need him out now, I just don't wanna be induced, so. Cross your fingers. Yeah. We're at the SeaTac Botanical Garden, according to Krista. <laughs> yes, where we have our wedding pictures. Yeah. And here for a walk. Yeah and to show baby. Yeah. This is where the plants are, baby. <laughs> we think that all of this over here is new. But it's so pretty. Here we have one of Heckel's famous waterfalls. <laughs> Big tourist attraction around these parts. Giant. Yeah. Out exploring in the wild. <laughs> okay, now we're at the Japanese garden part of it. And this is so cool, look at this. It's like a little... Obstacle course. Also, wearing a dress for the first time in forever. Baby? Does the baby go for his first swim? Mm -hmm. Better not. <laughs> Spencer's turn. So pretty here. I can't believe this is like our backyard. I mean, it's not, but kind of. Here we have another waterfall. You I'm... may think that it's pretty small, but it's actually just really far away. Oh, oh, yes, depth perception. Yeah. Babe, I thought you said the other one was the biggest waterfall in Tuglilla. No, I said it's one of the, you know, waterfalls in Tuglilla. Oh, right. Okay. Wow, one of the seven wonders of the world. It's almost like you could touch it. <laughs> Here's the bridge where we first saw each other, our first looks on our wedding day. So I think we should cap off our time here. <laughs> I'm gonna kiss you. No.
A beautiful day today and I just wanted to show you guys if the baby comes this week then we will have two new additions to the family so look at my new grill Spencer got a smoker yeah. so excited about it yes, we're starting off small here cooking some chicken yes I would show you but if you're looking you're not cooking what does that mean if you're looking at the food, then it's not cooking because it's letting all the cold air in. Oh. <laughs> but here are the pellets. Ew, they look like little wormies. Anyways, we're going to have a fancy dinner tonight. We'll show you in a me, little bit. <laughs> you're making me nervous because if you back into this, you'll burn yourself really badly. Oh, don't worry, I'm very careful. Okay, but here, it's a little uneven ground. Got a baby in front of you. <laughs> Just <laughs> Quick dinner update. The chicken is delicious. Spencer took mine off the bone because I was scared of it. And he made this ramen all from scratch. He made the broth from scratch and the noodles. Babe. <laughs> Caught you in the act. It's pretty good. It's really good. You're amazing. You can do anything. Well, it's just fun. I love it. Hey guys, I am officially 40 weeks. Today, we made it. Still pregnant, no baby yet. I don't know when he's coming either, so stay tuned. And I will see you in another vlog real soon. Bye. I've been waiting all my life for something. I've been down the darkest roads and up.